Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to, or actually, this is the first show of the day. Welcome to Adobe Live. My name is Katrina Torrijos. I am your host for today. I am the Adobe Express evangelist, and I'm also a content creator and streamer on the side. And I'm super excited for today's Adobe Express session um, because we're going to be making ads today, um, and not just any kind of ads eye-catching ads because I don't know about you but as I'm scrolling through social watching ads on like YouTube or Twitch or wherever I am on the internet all the ads kind of start looking the same you know so um, uh, while we are looking at different ways you can make your ads look different and stand out from the crowd uh, we are also going to look at different ways to help you level up your ads so that they look more professional look more put together like the ones that you see online but before we get into that I just want to do a quick shout out to chat hi Cody how's it going um, welcome to the stream. Hello, Frank. Hi, General Kenobi. Hi, Carol. Hello. Oh my gosh, we have a full house today. Oh, and hi, Robert. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Awesome. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get this class started. And by the way, I am watching both chats today on YouTube and on Behance. Um, so feel free to say hi, drop any questions, um, and let's just hang out. Okay, so we are in Adobe Express today. Surprise, surprise. Um, if you're just tuning in for the very first time, you don't know what's going on. Um, we are in the browser version of Adobe Express, um, and it's also in beta. So you can get here by going to new.adobe or new.express.adobe.com. And if you don't have an Adobe account, you just have to create one. It's completely free, and it's also completely free to get started. Okay, so. With that said, let's just jump right into it. Today, we're gonna start from a template. So on the search bar here, we're just gonna search up ad, or you could do advertisement, whatever you want. Um, and it will actually pull up everything. And I noticed that this was actually fairly recent, but when you type in the search bar, um, it now pulls up all of your related files, libraries, brands, anything that has like the keyword in its like title or if it's tagged or something like that before it was just templates photos videos but now it actually pulls up your stuff so let me know in the chat if you've noticed that change and also probably when that change happened because that kind of took me by surprise so um yeah okay so let's actually go with this one let's start from a video today so i'm just gonna click on this it's gonna open the template and we're just gonna get started um, hi, PJ. Hi, Penny. Welcome to the stream. Hi, Nuno. Um, okay. So let's see what we have going on here. Now we're going to, our goal for today is we're going to make on, make a full on ad. So we're going to do the entire set. So we're going to redo this for social, um, and then probably make some still images. And if we have some time at the end, um, maybe some merch. Uh, that, that's, that's bonus content. That, that's a little bit of a reach. I only have y'all for an hour today. Um, so let's see how much we can get done. Okay. So starting with the video, this looks pretty good. So I guess our, uh, fictional shop that we're creating an ad for is called Flaked. Um, and I love it. I love the color, the branding, the video. This is actually pretty solid. So, um, let's see. This is only six minutes. A minutes. Oh my gosh. Six seconds. Oh my gosh. Imagine a six minute ad. Ooh, skip. Okay. Um, let's actually level this up a bit. Even though this is a template, um, Adobe Express makes it so easy to just add in like your custom branded elements, any custom videos so that you can really make this your own. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. Um, oh, okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a scene and then um, going into media. Actually, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Hold on, wait. We actually need to um, expand, not expand. We need to duplicate this scene because I would want, like, this would be the first scene. Let's say we're keeping this, right? The second scene, I kind of want all the text to already be there. Um, and I don't want to have to, like, reformat everything from scratch again because, you know, 
on this stream. We work smarter, not harder, even though my past streams um, have said otherwise. <laughs> so we're just gonna actually go ahead and duplicate this. Okay, and then now we have a second one and as you can see it it kind of You know does the animation again. We don't need that So I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust the timing of this text um, So let's go to a uh, Shot where they're all in and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on them and just remove this animation just so it starts from the beginning and also I'm just going to drag the clips like or the sorry the the text the text timing what is this called let me know in chat <laughs> um, happy Wednesday everyone Penny said oh darn we're gonna get hungry now <laughs> I know, I know, it's a food stream. When I was planning for the stream, I was like, oh no, this is probably the the bajillionth food stream that I've done. And that's, you know, that could be a good or a bad thing, depending on if you've eaten today. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to just adjust these. We're just getting rid of the animation and we're making it the entire duration of this video so that it's there already and then this part this pink part it's two rectangles grouped so I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of that too and adjust the timing um, also let me know in chat have y'all played with the video features yet um, have y'all made any videos I'm so curious to know because you know, on this on Adobe Express, typically for probably the longest time, we've mostly just done graphics, still images, um, infographics, flyers, logos, all that stuff. But this is a you know quite a big change from just doing graphics to now doing video. So I'm so curious to know if you've played with the video features. Um, so yeah, let me know. Okay, so same thing with this. Just going to drag it, get rid of the animation. Okay, so that it's just continuous. So let's see if we did it. Oops. Okay, cool. So now we have all of the elements just fixed on the screen and now all we have to do is just edit the video. So to replace the video, I'm just gonna click on that and then um, replace and then I am in the video tab again if you're new here you do get access to the Adobe stock video collection which is awesome um, and if you are a premium user you get access to all the assets that are marked with a crown so that is awesome okay so let's look up some bakery videos. Let's see, okay, this one's already in. We have a couple. Bakery. Oh, here's one of someone cutting bread. We love the bread. And then let's, let's play it. Oops. Okay. Okay, so I think I want the clip to start from here. So I'm gonna do, <laughs> I learned this last week, but that there's a term for this. We're gonna do a, a quick little slip edit here and just drag the clip to where I want it to start without adjusting the duration for the entire clip, if that, if you know, if you, I, I, if that makes sense, um, so. That's what a slip edit is. I, I never knew what the name of it was, but that's that's what it is. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Um, hi, Clever. Welcome to the stream. Frank said not yet. I do these on Premiere. You know, yes. They love that. So... Yeah, so some of these edits, although they are very simple, very basic, you know, you don't have to open Premiere to make these small, quick videos for social, you know, so, you know, the difference I feel with like editing like 
a video, a fancy video, all the transitions, color grading and all that stuff versus like something on social where it's really just cutting clips together, maybe putting on some text on it, some music and stuff, making really, really simple edits. You can now do it in Adobe Express. And it's, it's really amazing considering like comparing how far uh, Adobe Express has evolved since our very, very first class. I love the flaked font. Yes, I know, right? I love it. Um, Nuno Diaz asks, are these videos all free for commercial use? Yes, so they are royalty free. The only um, stipulation with using any of the stock assets is that you cannot download them like just by itself. So you can't just download this video and like, on its own and then just like use it you know it has to be incorporated in a in a design somewhere and it's not just the stock assets but it's same thing with the um the logos or eh, not the logos any of the icons any of the design assets it's the same thing um oh my gosh why have i never thought of opening express over opening premiere penny definitely give it a try and for any of my premiere users in the chat i highly uh recommend challenging yourself and um, learning how to edit video in Adobe Express. I mean, it doesn't hurt, right? I, I would say it's not as like, you know, you can't, you, you can't color grade edit curves and stuff and, uh, you know, do all the really complicated stuff that you can in Premiere, but you need a quick video for social, thread a, through, thread a couple clips together, um, try using Adobe Express. Okay, so we have that, and then maybe we'll add in a couple more. So now that we made these edits, like with the um, text and stuff, we can easily just duplicate the scene and then just replacing the video. So we'll do a couple. So we have the bread video. Um, what else we got? Oh my gosh, these are so nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so I have a couple pastry videos. I was going through all of some clips last night, and I just, let's just say, don't look up bakery or bread or any food stock videos at, like, midnight because you're definitely going to get hungry. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, I mean... Not the raw egg yolk. I mean, yes, but the shot's really good. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, that looks... Oh, that shot is amazing. I want to add the entire, like, splat. Okay. That looks good. Um, uh, Miss Melanie117 from YouTube. Hello. Good morning from Los Angeles. How is it going? Midnight snack attack. <laughs> I feel it. Hi, Sean. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Premiere goes so slow on my computer some days. I feel it. And Premiere is a really hefty program. There's a lot that's uh, built into Premiere. So that's definitely understandable that you need to have a really strong processor and a lot of patience for rendering. <laughs> Okay, cool. And then we'll just add in one more. I kind of want to put like um, something uh, like muffins or something. Let's replace. Let's do muffin. Muffin! And we have muffins. Yes. Okay, let's do another quick slip edit. Maybe we'll start it from here and play. Love it. The thing is, is that I feel like this footage is a little bit bright. So another great thing that it, you could do in Adobe Express is you can make adjustments. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So if you ever feel like the footage is too bright, too dark, maybe a little dull, you can do those slight edits in um, right here in Adobe Express. You just have to 
adjust these sliders and it's so forgiving because these uh, these uh refined adjustments are powered by adobe photoshop so it's the same thing um or the sim same or similar technology that does that so you don't have to worry about like making your slider or like turning your slider to like level two on saturation and then your footage becomes like super orange <laughs> so that's why sometimes I like using this if I'm editing photos I you know I I'm a Lightroom girly I love my Lightroom but sometimes especially if I'm making reels covers I'll I forget I'll sometimes I'll take a still from um the video and I'll be like, I don't want to put this in my Lightroom library. So sometimes I'll just make really refined edits here. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, that looks good. So let's play it from the top. Hi, Jared. Welcome to the stream. Adobe Express is so amazing. Love the mobile UI. Yes. And I cannot wait for this beta to become available on mobile. It is not available on mobile yet. So for those of you who are wondering, the beta version of Adobe Express is still only on desktop. I'm waiting for it real patiently. But, you know, once it hits mobile, it's going to be chef's kiss. I can already feel it. Okay, this looks great. I love it. 10 out of 10. I would totally come here. Okay, so now I'm going to add in some music um, because what is video without audio? Um, so let's just go ahead and, oh, we're already here in the media tab and audio. So. I don't want muffin audio. So <laughs> the great thing also about Adobe Express is that there are audio tracks that are free, available for you to use. And for the most part, it looks like they're all free. None of them are really marked with a crown, which is great. And there's different genres like acoustic, background, blues, classical. You can also search by like genre or feeling. So you could type in like, if you're looking for a happy, that sounds great. Or even like holiday. You got a summer, family, holiday loop, Christmas clock, Chinese New Year is great. So just definitely explore those if you have not um, done so already. But for today, I really like using the hip hop tracks. I think those are the best for vlog style videos and anything on social. And if anything, just, you know, if, you're, if your video just needs a little bit of a perk, you know, like... It needs, it needs a, a little pep in its step. So I'm going to just go down to hip hop. You can also search it. Um, and also you can, if you have custom music tracks, like for some of y'all who have custom branding and custom like music or a favorite track that you like to use from maybe somewhere else, you can upload it from your device if it's saved. Um, or and, and you can also record a voiceover. Now I have demoed the voiceover quite a bit. Um, I think I've done it on stream too. So um, yeah, look back on the previous class where I demoed how to record a voiceover. But I'm going to go into hip hop and then let's do this one. Now, I'm not going to make the same mistake and um, <laughs> put in a uh, click. Uh, what's it called? What did I do? I, I previewed the clip. This is also what happened in the last stream that I did. I previewed the music track and just blasted everyone's ears with the audio. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to put it on here and then make it like a 2%. Okay, let's see how it looks. I don't know if y'all can hear it. I made it low on purpose. Just in case. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Uh, okay, let's do maybe five. Five is okay, since I'm not gonna do a voice over here. <clears throat> I love it. Okay, now we can adjust the clips to be on beat. 
and then it's just a simple trim totally fine just dragging in the corners corners edges and then once that happens boom we do this okay and then on that beat boom there it is okay let's look at it now Oops. it's a vibe right it's very homey very welcoming okay i think i'm gonna shave off maybe a second Okay, we'll cut it here so that it's exactly 15 seconds, which is great because that's optimal time for like Instagram stories um, and even like short video ads like TikTok and stuff like that. Honestly, this would also look good as like a, a hero video. If this was a website, that'd be amazing. Um... Is that supposed to be Elkhart, Indiana? Probably. I think so. It says I-N. Elkhart. Is it supposed to have a T? I'll put in a T. Mm -mm -mm. If that is, thank you for correcting the typo. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now that the base video is done, now we can go into resizing it and stuff for different purposes. Okay, so let's just go ahead and resize um, and express, oh my gosh, makes it so easy to do it. Let's do the Instagram square post. Let's do a story. Um, okay, these are all the same. Um, I think this is already a video, uh, dimension. What else could we do? I really, oh my gosh, wait. Is there, oh gosh, is there no Twitter? I just had, I just thought about Twitter, like RIP Twitter. You will be missed. It's not here anymore. Oh my goodness. I guess we could do like <laughs> Facebook post or an ad. I mean, it's just a square. This one's just a square. So I think we're fine. I think we're fine here. Yeah. Web banner, email header. Email header could be cool too. LinkedIn post, 1920, 1920, that's a square. Okay, I think we might be okay. Square post and story. I think that's really all we need. Cause this is already the video dimension. Okay, let's just do it. Okay, so it resized. And as you can see, the video did not snap to the canvas, which is fine because if you just click on it, Hit fill video, it's already done. And then we do need to adjust these assets, which is a-okay with me too, because again, it's just, it's easy to just reposition everything. You just grab it, even if it's grouped. If you notice, I didn't have to break up the group to move these things. You just have to double click and then it will do it for you. And actually, kind of like the text in the center here now that the canvas is like longer let me just see kind of like that and i don't think we even need the pink anymore now that because i'm thinking for instagram ads i don't really need anything on the top or bottom and if i move the text to the bottom you won't be able to read it anymore so like what's the point you know what i mean so you can just go ahead and actually let's get rid of it. So we'll just fill the video. We'll get rid of this paint group and it will be a okay, which is great because when 
creating videos or even really anything for social, nothing is really supposed to look 100% alike. And y'all, I have to tell you, some ads that I see are still breaking the number one rule of social is to design with the platform in mind. Like I still see like horizontal graphics on a story and it irks me. <laughs> and maybe that's not the user's fault. Maybe like Instagram or something is pushing out the wrong size graphic or whatever, but I'm just, y'all. Yeah. That's like my number one tip. If anyone's gonna, if you're gonna design an ad for your business or service or anything, please make sure you're optimizing for the platform that you're advertising on, please. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Uh, Carol said, it's where my flute was made. Hello. We have new people. Hi, Arby. Hi, Ina. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Cool. Looks great. And then now moving on to the next one, we have the story and very similar to the same thing. Just gonna do that same thing really quick. Just getting rid of this and I don't even think we need the words here so I might get rid of the location because the text is too small to read for stories already mm -hmm. gonna fill the video it's just so easy y'all I remember it would take me decades <laughs> getting rid of, or not getting rid, but like resizing video on the, the video editor that I use. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me see. Oh, you still have words here. Let's get rid of that. Oh, it looks so good. That shot with the egg just kills it. Like in a good way. No, not in a bad way. In a good way. <laughs> okay. So this looks great. Let's see what we have. Okay, we have three dimensions now. So we have a vertical video and then we have a square, and then we have a story. And arguably for Instagram, we could also do the 1350. Where is it? Okay, let's, let's throw that in there too. Why not? Instagram. Oh look, there's a whole ad section right here. So if you want specific ads, here we go. <laughs> Where is, okay. One thing, another thing on my wish list for the Adobe Express beta is to have a search bar up here. That would be amazing to be able to search for the size that you need. Social, okay, here we go, here we go. I scrolled too far down, Porsche post. Duplicate and resize. Perfect, and then same thing, fill video, and then if ever, oh my gosh, I did it again. Um, if ever you notice that maybe the footage is not in frame, it's so easy to just um, click and drag so that the footage is just in frame. And in order to keep it like on you know, so that it doesn't move too much so that you don't have the spaces. What I do is I hold down my shift key and then click. And then even if I move my cursor up and down, the footage doesn't move up and down. So just in case. 
Uh, fill video. I thought I got rid of the text. Am I being played? <laughs> Am I getting punked here? I think I didn't do it right, but that's okay. Oh, I did do it wrong because I did the Instagram post. You know, <laughs> you know what? Y'all didn't see anything. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Welcome to the stream. Now I really want pastries, right? Oops. Okay. Looks great. Do we have any bakers in the chat? I wouldn't call myself a baker, but I know I do know how to bake. I can follow directions pretty well. That's why when people ask me if I can cook, I say yes. And if they ask me like what kinds of things can I cook? And I'll just be like, anything, just give me a recipe. I think that's one of my skills is that I'm highly competent in <laughs> reading and following recipes. Um, okay, so we have this, and then now we have to work on the still ads. So the great thing about Adobe Express is that you can actually, even though we have a video project, you can have like your graphics and photos, all of this in a single project. Like you do not have to make um, a video for every single page. So what you can do is we have a page and we have a timeline here, but honestly, you don't need it. You don't need it. Just let's just resize it. Let's do the Instagram. Um, what's it called? The Instagram uh, portrait size. So do that. Hit resize. Boom. That's great. And then we're just going to pull in the branding from a previous project so I'm just shift clicking and control C control V it is right here and does it have the animation and it doesn't have the animation which is great um, and even though it pops up a timeline here you do not have to export it as a video so don't feel pressure no pressure <laughs> um, and then we're gonna just go into media Back out of here, going go into photos, um, and we're going to search pastries. I guess pastries. Uh, I am so hungry now. Okay, we have to do the flat lay. Here we go. Set pages background. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Do you like cookies? I love cookies. Maybe an ad break? <laughs> yes. I bake nothing like a slice of warm bread with butter out of the oven. Oh, it feels uh, like home. It's dangerous. I think my resume says I enjoy baking with chocolate. Yum. Time to eat a whole loaf of bread in one sitting, right? <laughs> I feel it. Okay, so this is another type of ad that we're making. This is a still ad. So this is more of a graphic. Um, and sometimes I run into these on like Instagram stories where it's just like an image um, or even sometimes uh, I'll see TikTok ads that have like slides like they're images, but it's like you it's like a carousel ad, I guess is what it's called. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. So we have this and then because the background is so loud I guess like it's it's very it's very bright um we can easily just adjust the photo and where am I going clicking on the photo I'm doing that and we're going to adjustments and similar to like the video you can adjust the contrast brightness and, and stuff like that So you can do some light video editing in here. Just gonna bring this down just a little bit. We're gonna kind of like mute out the video because I feel like it's just really, the shadows are coming in real strong is basically what I'm saying. 
and as well as the color. So we're just going to mute that a little bit. Ah, oh, it looks so good. And then maybe we need like a tagline, a quick, someone with a pun. So maybe I've, I've seen um, places say like, say things like, let's get this bread. I think that one's a good one. Uh, and then I also saw flake it till you make it. <laughs> I don't know which one I like more. But we're going to pick one of those. I have 30 seconds to decide. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate this. Let's get rid of the shape. And then let's change the fill color to the same color as this, which is like a off white. Uh, shake it to flaked. I've never heard of that one before. Okay. Brick is really good filled pastries. Yum. Let's see. What is everyone's, I'm so curious. What is everyone's favorite pastry in the chat? Feel free to let me know. Or if you're watching the replay, leave a comment. What is your favorite pastry? Um, okay. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna just do the flake it till you make it. <laughs> oh, cute. That's cute. And then another thing, if you have text like this where you can read it in some parts, but some parts it, it's kind of hard. What I like to do is add in a shadow and I'll use either like the glow or like one of these like more subtle ones. I think I use the glow a lot. Either the glow or the hazy and then I'll make it actually like black. I'll make it like straight, straight black, true black. And then it kind of like lifts it off the page. If you could see that, yeah. Um, so that's another thing with ads, make sure they are legible um, because the goal is to stop the scroll. And if someone has to squint to read your ad, they will scroll past it real fast. So if they can't read it upon like 0.5 milliseconds after looking at it, then definitely need to work on that. Okay, cool. And then so now we have this still ad. I think it looks amazing. Um, and then once again, we can resize this for social. Let's do a story. Let's do a square. That's the most common ones, right? Oh, maybe we'll do um, maybe like a web banner, an email header. I don't know. Let's just do it. And boom, here it is. Um, a lot of, most of it is resized already. What is this one? Oh, that is the size. Wow. Okay. Sometimes I get thrown off if it's the real size or not, but oh, this looks good. Oh man, this looks so good. <sighs> Need to calm down. <laughs> Have not had breakfast yet, but it looks, oh, it looks so good. And then once again, if you don't like the framing, you can always adjust it as well. Um, okay. Almond bear claws. Mmm, cheese babka. Yum. I really like, um, there's this, uh, place called Porto's Bakery in LA and they make really good guava and cheese pastries. Oh, I think that's my favorite. Refrigerated? Oh, Okay, so I, I don't know why. It's weird. I like them cold. <laughs> or I love a good chocolate croissant with a coffee or an almond croissant's really good. Um, or cranberry orange muffins. <sighs> okay. Now y'all got me thinking. Okay, so our, our little campaign is coming together. I love it. Um, and then the last thing we should do is like, 
Yeah, we have like 40, 40 minutes. Oh my gosh, we do not have 40 minutes. We have 20 minutes left in this class ish. Um, so let's go and like mock up some merch really quick let's let's advertise a shirt okay let's <laughs> let's go a little crazy this is our fun project i mean not that the entire project was not fun but this will be our super fun project for today um <laughs> and so let's just resize this let's give ourselves a bigger canvas to work with um and okay i'm feeling okay this might be crazy okay so let's actually do some firefly work today okay so it's been a minute since i worked with firefly firefly text to image specifically ai generation um and if you're new here um adobe express has um integrated uh, generative AI through text to image where you just generate an image through writing a prompt or uh, and text effects where again you write a prompt and then it turns it into sort of like a decorative font um, kind of thing so <laughs> we're gonna uh, work out our prompt making muscles today um, so I kind of want to make okay like a flat lay I'm envisioning okay here's the creative vision okay a shirt just a shirt we're gonna start start off easy I'm gonna start with a t-shirt no 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 not a shirt maybe like a tote bag let's do a tote bag and then like it's on a table and then with like a rolling pin and maybe some flower like ironing out the tote bag how cute would that be that um What's it called? Flatly idea. Okay, so let's 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 translate it. Let's articulate this into written words. <laughs> so okay, um, okay, flat canvas tote bag with pink hand. Are are those handles? Are, are those handles on tote bags or are these straps? <laughs> Guava. Yep, good combo. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Carol. Um, with pink candles on top of a wooden table, lightly dusted with flour. Oh, that's a risky one. Um, and a rolling pin. Okay, um, no promises. Oh, I did not change this to photo. Oops. That's another thing. Con you can change the content type to either art, graphic, or photo. So we're gonna do photo and regenerate this again. <clears throat> oh my God, I didn't know generative fill had been added to Express. Um, so not generative fill, but generative AI. But that would be amazing if generative fill did come to Adobe Express, and I really hope so. We're putting it out there into the universe um, because I was editing a, a real cover photo yesterday and my shot was a little too narrow, just, just a little bit. And I was like, oh man, Jennifer Phil would have been great right now, but we're getting close. And looks, oh, this, this rolling pin's broken. We have a half rolling pin here, but this looks amazing. Okay, so we can work with this. We can work with this. Y'all can tell this is a rolling pin, right? Okay, so we have this image and then now we're going to use this to kind of mock up our, our thing. Okay, so let's do, okay, first we need our logo. Oops, wrong button. So we're gonna just copy this. I'm gonna paste it here. Sorry, you're gonna hear me gasp a lot. <laughs> you're gonna hear me audibly gasp for the rest of the stream. Okay, so first tote bag we need to make should be the logo, right? Um, and then actually, let me just go ahead and group this so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, and then I'm going to apply a blend mode. So there's pass through, multiply and screen. So let's do multiply and then if you zoom in, if you have never seen a, uh, oh, not, that's not how to use zoom in. <laughs> um, if um, you've never used a blend mode, so basically what it does, it kind of just blends the two elements together. So in this case, it's adding the canvas tote bag texture onto 
the letters. Now, scientifically, if <laughs> designers in chat can help me out what is happening, I believe it's the not the highlights that are being blended. It is the shadows, correct? Um, okay. So we like this, but it's this too similarly colored to the tote bag. So I'm going to make the executive decision to go a little off brand and <laughs> change the color a bit to something a bit more legible. So maybe something like this. Oh, it's she's cute. It's cute. No, my mistake. Oh, my mistake. I see yeah, the image generator. Yes, text image. Oh man, this is adorable. Okay, and then we can zoom out a bit, and it looks so good. Okay, and then maybe we'll add in like a little bit of a border or something. So let me actually. Wait, I like how it's framed right now. So let's just group all of this and then let's leave a little bit of space and then let's change this background color to the same color. Should we do this one? Should we do this one? We'll see this one. It's a little dark. Let's go with this one. Yeah, not sold. Let's just make it a bit more vibrant on our own. Uh, oh, oops, I right clicked. There you go. I love it. I love it so much. And then maybe we'll take this text and then, wait, let's just ungroup this. Ungroup, ungroup. Oops, I messed it up. I messed it up. <laughs> um, what font is this? So Barbie. <laughs> Don't get me started, Carol. <laughs> Don't get chat started. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Welcome to the stream. Um, what font is this? This is... Bubble plus, okay. So let's just add text. Also, new to Adobe Express, there's text lockups now. Um, I don't know, I don't exactly know when this was added, but it was definitely very recent. So if you haven't done so already, check it out. Okay, we can say like new merch. I will make this the same color. Maybe we'll do it like this. Oh, I messed up. I did it again. I never select the text and then change it. You think I learned by now? New merch. It's hard to read, but that's okay. Just adjust the color. Oops, not that, not that. I meant to do custom. Okay, and then we're gonna add a shadow. I'm gonna do the hack that I did. And then we can even duplicate this. We could say August 2023. Oh. This is cute. Oh my goodness. I love this so much. And then, let's say we want to make a second ad. You think we got time for a second ad? We got so much time for a second ad, hold on. Um, let's duplicate this page. And then maybe we'll do a different design. So we can do, actually, I'm gonna leave this here. Let's do a second design. Mm -mm -mm. 
let's do oh what am i doing what am i doing let's go back to this one flake it till you make it let's copy this text and then going back out Like it till you make it. So we have this, and then let's do the dynamic text. And I love the dynamic text because it just lines up the edges of the text so easily. Flake it till you make it. And then we can make it match the pink. And then for the shadow, maybe you can do a strong. And then you can also adjust the text if you wanted to, um, like the angle and then the distance. Maybe you want it here. And then I want, I wish I knew the colors for this actually. We can know the colors for this. Again, I work, <laughs> sometimes I do work harder and not smarter. Okay, so we're gonna click on this text. What color are you? What color is this? Is it this? Maybe I'll go to custom. Oh, there you go. So you can pull up the, um, uh, hex codes just by doing that. And then we copied it. I'm going to take it over here and then back into shadow. And then we could paste it here. Perfect. And then from there, now we can adjust this text. And for the sake of time, I'm just gonna guess what it is. I'm guessing it's something like this. Maybe I'll gray it out a little. I'll make it mute to the, just a little. Oh wait, but we have to, oh, we have to blend mode it. Okay. Can we even blend mode this? You can't blend mode text yet. No, you can't. Okay, we're good. We're in the clear. We are in the clear, I think. However, we can adjust the opacity. And there we have it. Okay. So let's look and recap what we have here. So we made four different video ads in four different dimensions. We have four different still images to use for a website email newsletter and then we have uh instagram like a square dimension and then we have the instagram portrait and then we have merch <laughs> we have stuff to promote our merch we have two tote bags coming out in august 2023 um <laughs> and then yeah we pretty much built out this entire uh ad campaign for <laughs> our fictional bake shop all from a template we pretty much just started here with like this footage we started here and we were able to make all of this in under an hour but before i leave you today i actually you know surprise surprise i do <laughs> i have a previous project saved i did want to share another merch idea just for fun this is just for fun. The class is over now, but <laughs> just for fun. Um, this is another tote bag that I made. Imagine we just had like a cute little, a cute little bread mascot. And this one's don't go baking my heart. Adorable. And then <laughs> I made the second one with a, a tie dye shirt. Also, this whole thing is using um, generative AI. So both of these um, I used. And this one, it made a tie-dye shirt and it said, let's get this bread. I love it. And not so pretty graphic, but here's just a recap. Um, characteristics of a great hashtag ad. If you're doing a video, 
make sure you have a strong hook or visual um, in the first three seconds. So if you're not speaking, at least, you know, have the first thing be super eye catching. Uh, Make sure your text is easy to read. Um, uh, Use HD footage. No, no grainy or like um, pixelated footage, please. Music and voiceovers. Have music and or a voiceover. Um, and if you have a voiceover, use closed captions for um, to make your video more accessible, so it could reach more folks. Um, and then for any still images, still ads, make sure you use full bleed, vibrant, bold images, like what we did as such. And also feel free to take a picture, screenshot this. Um, for your reference. Make sure you have easy to read text, um, high contrast, very attractive colors as you saw in the visuals that we picked. Um, And make sure it's easy to understand, witty, clever tagline, like what we did, flake it till you make it, Uh, don't go baking my heart, (laughs) stuff like that to really catch the reader's attention so they want to know more about your brand. But with that, that is the end of today's class. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. I hope you got vibe from it and you learned something new. If you haven't tried Adobe Express, definitely try it out today. But with that, thank you all so much and I will see you all in the next stream. All right, goodbye.